Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delvidge and today I'm going to be bringing you a YouTube video on how to create gaming YouTube thumbnails. Now my previous thumbnail tutorials have been actually really successful, so you guys obviously like them. I'm going to show you how to make gaming ones specifically in this video today. I also like to mention that in this video, I'm going for the SOAR recruitment challenge and if you don't know what this is, well, there's a gaming organization called SOAR Gaming and they're hosting a recruitment challenge right now for content creators, for designers, for editors, so I definitely recommend that you go Go check them out I'll link their channel in the description below but I'm gonna be going for the content creator side of the things on the recruitment challenge they said they wanted original stuff that people don't really do they don't want the same boring uh, Call of Duty cut com unless it's you know super original so I don't think anybody on Sora does tutorials so I'm gonna see you know just test my luck and see what happens you never know right So guys, so the first thing you need to do when you go into Photoshop is go to File and New here at the top left or alternatively if you have the newer versions of Photoshop, you can just click New. Once you have this window open, I'd like to go to Thumbnail right here. I have a template set up. It's 1280 by 720, the resolution at 300, always in pixels, and the background can be white, but we're going to change that in a little bit. Just click Create when that is all done, and you'll be given a new page here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to create a new layer here at the bottom by pressing this New Layer button. Delete the background layer because we don't need that and I'm just going to add a gradient overlay to start it off now this isn't going to be the background this is just going to start us off so we can see what we're working with now the next step is to choose a wallpaper from Google from the game you're playing so if you're playing Call of Duty choose a Call of Duty wallpaper if you're choosing overwatch use an overwatch wallpaper rainbow six rainbow six wallpaper you guys kind of get the point I'm just gonna go on Google and find a wallpaper okay guys so I have a background or wallpaper copied to my clipboard I'm just gonna press control and V like I mentioned earlier to paste it into Photoshop. After that, I'm going to press Ctrl and T on my keyboard to resize it. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt at the corners and just click and drag to make it smaller while still maintaining the aspect ratio of the image. The next step is to add a few color corrections to the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and go to my brush tool over here at the left side. I'm going to go to the brush settings here at the top, change the hardness all the way down and the size can remain at about 700. And I'm just going to change the color to white here at the bottom, the foreground color and create a light, just click very softly at the top like I did so, and it will create a light at the very top. I'm gonna create another layer and move that below the light layer that we just made and go to black and I'm going to add some shadows on the sides here. Really simple, really easy to do. Just some shadows here at the bottom and the sides to create a bit of depth in the thumbnail itself. After that, I'm going to go back to our wallpaper layer and create some adjustment layers. Now you do this by pressing the create new fill or adjustment layer button here at the bottom and you can play around with these. I'm just gonna personally add some vibrance and turn that all the way up. And I'm also going to add some brightness and contrast and turn the contrast up a bit to maybe like 40%, maybe the brightness down to maybe uh, negative 15. Maybe add a hue slash saturation adjustment as well. So you can maybe adjust the colors a bit if you wanted to. I don't know. It's kind of up to you guys. And again, you can play around with this. You don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing. You can do whatever you like or whatever you feel looks good for the certain thumbnail that you are making. I'm also going to add a color balance and just play around with these settings here. It might take a little while to get something you like, but that's perfectly fine. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just merge all these layers together by right clicking and going to merge layers while holding shift to select all of the layers that we just made. Now, the next step is to create some text. So the first thing you want to do when you're creating new text in Photoshop is just select the text layer over here and just click on screen to create a text dialog box that should pop up right here and choose whatever you want to be said in your thumbnail. For my example, I'm just going to choose how to, actually I'm going to make to a separate text layer. So I'm just going to press the check mark, press control and J to duplicate that layer that we just made. Go into the move tool and holding shift, I'm going to drag to the right so we get another layer. I'm going to go back to the text tool and edit it by just pressing or dragging along and then pressing backspace and I'm going to press two. So now we have how and two on two separate text layers and that's gonna be very useful because you'll see in a second what we're gonna do with the text. I'm gonna press Control and J to duplicate that layer again. Going back to my text tool, I'm gonna to change two to make, click the check mark box and I'm going to drag it up so it's centered and aligned with our previous two text layers and drag it to the right, there we go. I'm gonna press Control and J once again and drag down holding shift and change the text to YouTube, click the check mark box, and again, I'm going to center it with our other text layers. After that, I'm going to press Ctrl and J one more time, so we duplicate the layer once again, and I'm going to drag it down, oops, drag it down, 
just like we did before holding shift and I'm going to change the text to thumbnails with an exclamation point. I'm going to center it again by pressing control and A on our keyboard, going to the move tool and choosing these aligning tools at the top of our screen. Now the next thing we're going to do is create a new layer above all of our text layers over here and go to the rectangular marquee tool at the top left. I'm going to scroll in and you can choose whatever uh, letter or text or whatever part of your text that you want to do this effect on. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to create a box around make. After that I'm going to press control and backspace on our keyboard and it will fill the selection that we just made with whatever color your I believe foreground is or background color my bad. I'm going to drag that layer underneath our make layer and now we have color behind our make. I'm going to make sure it's centered by selecting make here holding control on our keyboard and selecting the text or the make layer in our layer panel. I'm going to go back to our rectangle layer that we just made go to the move tool and press the two middle aligning buttons like we did before. And as you can see, it creates a cool effect. And I'm actually gonna change the color over here to a purple uh, just because it fits the SOAR RC recruitment challenge, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is create the same exact effect that we just made on our make text on our thumbnail text at the bottom. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna speed through it because I've already told you guys exactly how to do what I'm about to do. So let's get to it. While I've been designing, I kind of realized that I'd probably want to change the font of our how-to text to change it to something different just so it stands out. And while you're designing, you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, if you find something that doesn't look as good as you intended it to be, or if you just want to make something original and creative, go for it, guys. Be sure to change things on the fly that you think might look good because what if it looks better than the originally intended design, guys? So I'll be right back. I'm just going to change the font from our how-to text from Nexable to Nexalite. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we've changed the font and one final thing I'm going to do with this text is holding control on my keyboard. I'm going to go to our thumbnails text layer. I'm going to hold control and select the layer on our layer panel. After that, I'm going to go down to the box layer that we created for thumbnails and press delete and it will delete the text on our box layer. So as you can see, it creates an outline of our text in the box layer without actually having the text layer itself. Once we're finished with that, I'm going to merge all these layers together, holding shift and just clicking merge layers rasterize layer style and then merge layers and it will create all of the text on one layer for us I'm gonna create a new layer above that drag it underneath the YouTube layer I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard once again to select the text layer go to select modify and expand I'm gonna change it to about 20 pixels press enter or ok and then press again to control and backspace on your keyboard and it creates an outline around the text that we just made now obviously the color is not going to be that I'm gonna change it to a gradient overlay with a black and then a color overlay at about 50% to black as well. I'm going to click OK and go into our polygon lasso tool here at the top. I'm going to fine tune this a little bit so it's more of a defined shape because as we can see, there are certain areas of it that aren't actually filled in and we want those to be filled in so it creates a better effect. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to select it and do the exact same thing that we did again. I'm just going to select something with our lasso tool and press control and backspace and it will filter it or uh, create the same effect in that area that we already have on our layer. Okay guys, so we basically have the text done. The last thing I'm going to do is add a stroke to our outline over here. Just a white stroke at 5 pixels is completely fine. Something like that. It looks really cool. And I'm actually going to add some drop shadow underneath uh, just to make it stand out a bit more. You can copy these settings if you want to do the exact same thing that I'm doing. Click OK. And I'm maybe adding a few effects to this, you know, why not? Just to make it look a little bit cooler. There we go, and now we have the text completely done. I'm going to merge all these layers together, or not all these layers, just these two layers, rasterize layer style, and then merge layers, and here we go. We have our basic text done. I'm going to center it by pressing Control and A on our keyboard once again. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add some color correction, and I will leave a link in the description below to the color correction pack that I'm using right now. I believe it's the Phase Studio Color Correction Pack Volume 4. It is about $10 on their store, so if you want to pick it up, then go for it. So I'm just going to apply it right here, and I think it 
makes the background look a lot better than it already was. We already added a bunch of adjustment layers in the back to make it pop out. So this is going to look even better. I think it does look a lot better, the yellow, and it's also matching the sore colors. So that's really good as well. Now the final step is completely up to you and you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But what I like to do a lot of the time is add a bluish effect into the background. So I'm going to create another layer above our background layer, but underneath our color correction layer, I'm going to go to our brush tool, select blue and just hover over the entire thing. I'm going to double click and go to overlay in our blend mode, just like that. Not soft light overlay. No, not soft light overlay there we go and change the opacity to about 40 percent and you can kind of play around with this as well you can drag it above the color correction or if you don't have color correction you can just add it without the color correction that works extremely well as well and if we want to erase certain parts of it so it's not as blue in some areas as it is in others all we have to do is go to the eraser tool and just erase the areas that we don't want to be as blue so it stands out more so maybe the areas that are more yellow you don't want the blue there so you'll erase it in those certain areas now the final thing to do for this thumbnail is completely up to you you don't have to do it if you don't want to but you can add some personal stuff to it like if you're playing Call of Duty you can add a soldier in the background or if it's for a gaming organization like the one I'm making right now you can add their logo in the background but personally I'm just gonna do something random so I'll be right back okay guys so I have a picture of Reaper from overwatch here I grabbed it from Google and you can do the exact same thing if you want I believe it's his nevermore skin or something like that I'm gonna press control and T on our keyboard I'm gonna right click and go to flip horizontal just because I want it on the right side of the image looking left I'm gonna press the check mark box at the top I'm going to move it to the right side I'm gonna move our text to the right a little bit so it creates more space and I'm actually going to move the text above our Reaper so that we can read it because the Reaper was covering it that's basically how you make a YouTube gaming thumbnail now obviously you can add a bunch more effects you can add more color correction you can add more crazy stuff in the backing but I'm not too sure how long this video is already so doing that would kind of be crazy if you enjoy the video make sure to give it a like rating if you really want to go the extra mile to support me make sure you tweet this video to the members and owners of soar gaming it would be really awesome if one of them could watch this video and even give me feedback even if i don't win the recruitment challenge it would still be nice to get feedback on the video so again guys i hope you enjoyed and until next time my name is delvidge and i'm out peace